Hey everybody, Stan Arthur here. Here's some interview footage that was shot with a Blackmagic Design Ursa Mini 4K EF camera with a Canon uh, EF 28 to 135 zoom lens. Uh, now that lens does go down to 2.8, f2.8. I'm not sure what this was shot at. It was definitely shot at ISO 400. Um, can't really go above 400 on an Ursa Mini 4K without introducing a lot of noise, fixed pattern noise and that sort of thing. Um, so what I wanted to do was show you that uh, this was shot on a film profile and what my workflow is within Premiere Pro to make this look the way I want it to look. Uh, first things first, let's pull up, uh, let's go to the Lumetri color panel and let's look at our scopes here. We can pull this way down here, get a much bigger look at our scopes. The first thing I do typically is I'm going to go to my input LUT and I've chosen this uh, BMC ProRes because this was shot in ProRes 422 SL profile and you can see it's quite saturated and uh, you can also see that it has uh, pulled, if I, if I uh, reverse that, if I undo that, you can see that the uh, levels have changed quite a bit in the RGB parade. I'm going back to it now, but we're going to go ahead and start there. Uh, I'm like I'm going to go ahead and use a um, a curves method for a little color correction and 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 uh, levels correction here, and get this going. Uh, I'm going to pull up the highlights. All right, I'm going to the blue, and I'm going to pull that up. And pull the bottom down here. There we go, about there. Go into the green and pull that up to about, I'm not going to worry about the spike there, 90. This uh, shot, you could see the key light was was um, the window. It also There's also a soft box behind the um, interviewer uh, pointed directly at him. So we're using that for fill. There is no hair light. Uh, I think I can push the green a little bit more. Okay. And I think we could use a little bit more blue because it, it is window light. It is more that 5600K. 5, 5, the camera is also set to 5600K and the softbox is 5600K. Of course, the daylight coming in, that's about a uh, close approximation to that as well. Um, okay, so I like that. It's uh, it is quite saturated, so uh, it can look on my um, vector scope here. I'm going to go uh, back to basic correction and I'm going to bring the saturation down to about 85 percent, right around there. I'm liking that very much. Um, looking at it overall, I'm quite happy with the look of this now. Uh, but now I'm going to get a little creative with it. I'll show you how quickly this can be done, actually. Um, I found a look in here that I really enjoy this Kodak 5205 look, uh, but not at 100%. I back this down to about 40% to get a great look. And I am extremely happy with that now. That's a great look. Probably add a little vignette to it. Great. Now let's go to the close-up shot. Typically I would just copy this original clip, come over here and paste attributes. Now I'm finding that to be a little dark in the close-up. I'm going to go back to curves now, RGB curves. I can see that I can bring the blue down a bit, probably bring the red up a bit. And we can definitely bring the saturation down from about 85. Let's go down to about 80. Let's take a look between the two shots. Still a little saturated and actually still a little red. So let's pull it all the way back and go back between them. That's much better. I'm actually going to pull the saturation down just a tad more in the basic from 80 down to about 75. Let's go back and forth now. I'm liking that quite a bit. That's looking pretty, pretty, pretty good. 
All right, now there's one other thing I'm going to do these shots because he's got some issues with his skin. He's got some very flaky skin. He's got a lot of red uh, blotches, discoloration. So I'm going to pretty him up just a little bit by going to my effects panel, the effects tab, and I'm going to type in beauty, B-E-A, okay. and I'm going to apply beauty box and let it work its magic. We go to beauty box here. We can click analyze frame, but you know what? I just I just like to do this manually. I'm going to pick a dark color on his face and a lighter color because we're not going to use very much of this at all. We're going to really dial this back. Okay. Now you can see that's way 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 too much. I'm going to go up to the smoothing amount and cut this down to about five. That's still too much. I actually like this about 2%, and I can t the skin detail smoothing, we can bring this down, even at zero. Now, we try it, uh, this is before and after, before, after. Let's try a little bit more. Let's take this up to five again. There we go. Now we go, this is Beauty Box real time, so it's very easy to use. I'm liking this a lot. Okay, so I'm just going to copy this, and I'm going to paste it over to the other one. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, this is a really nice look, thanks to that Kodak 5205 film LUT. Yep, this is a really nice look. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial and using the Lumetri color panel and uh, trying out different LUTs for different looks. Uh, my name is Stan Arthur. If you've enjoyed this, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching.